puts me in mind to GameStop. Uh, earnings, or lack thereof, really, is a better way. Losses Duh, well, reported yeah, by David, GameStop. It's GameStop. Worth a mention. Forget your, it, David. It's give me your GameStop. thoughts. All right, so... Um, I remember I told them that they have to go NFT yes. crypto wallet. Yeah. So in the release, they're talking it's all about the crypto wallet and the NFT. I had the NFT first and then crypto second, but that's okay because I I, I don't have a patent. Uh, Baird actually comments on it, saying Nintendo good. Matt Furlong led the uh, conference call. The CEO, a uh, three hundred forty million dollar higher cash balance than before. I think that's important, even though they're losing a lot of money. A billion dollars in the bank. David, all told. Yes. Forget it, David. Forget it's it. GameStop. It's GameStop. Because Meaning, there was no forget Q&A. It. It's Chinatown. There's no Q&A. Jake, it's Chinatown. Yeah, give me the pen knife. I'll do it to your nose. David, this Q&A yeah. doesn't exist. So why don't you take some... Honestly, how do you do... Wait, I'm sorry. What There's the no Q- Q&A on the GameStop uh, conference call. Okay. But they And explain about, to people why that's important. Well, because analysts usually cover a company and... They can say, well, wait a second, I want to know you had a $2.08 loss. Uh, we were looking for a $1.16 loss. Right. Could you say, why do you say sales are in line? But what happened there? How did software get to be such a big collectibles? Um, Paul, they, Paul Reigns did the collectibles. Actually, decent business. But David, when you don't have any Q&A, I think you tend to be suspicious that the company may not be as forthcoming. That's all. That's Ryan, but it doesn't Ryan, matter because Ryan it's GameStop. Is the, uh, is the chairman. It's GameStop. That's why I say GameStop could be up on the worst quarter possible. GameStop could be up 20 because that GameStop is some sort of like uh, Paris Commune, you know, like Berlin 1919. I've been thinking about you. You want to explain that a little bit more to people, too? Well, it it is. um, It's a class struggle. The people who buy it think they're getting rich people. They're attacking rich people. It's a class struggle. Well, Gabe Plotkin from Melvin has already become well, a he, family office. He was Trotsky, they, and they're they, He started it all off. Hey, ice pick. No, I mean, look, I have to tell you, a, a terrible way to invest is to think you're getting hedge funds by buying the stock and hurting them. Right. It's better to invest because you like the company. What would this stock trade on if it was trading purely on fundamentals? Purely on its ability, the company's ability to actually earn money in what is obviously a changing environment for its key product, which is still selling games out of a store. Well, you know, let's say we had uh, Strauss Zelnick on right now. Yes. I think Strauss would see CEO CEO take take two two interactive. Say, look, a lot of people buy things online now. So what you care about is the online numbers. Right. EA would say the same thing. Yes. Bobby Kodak. Activision and Microsoft, or but they Microsoft do sell potentially the future owner. No, they sell some hardware, and the fact is, is uh, as you would know, in, in Nintendo is still backward. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the great Corey Barry delivered a fantastic number at, at Best Buy. I would say as long as you have that hardware component that's in demand, then you have you have a business, right? Uh, do you have a business that's worth eight billion? Uh, probably not, but you have a business. You could, you know, what you'd have to do is you'd have to measure it versus Best Buy, which is uh, market cap is $18 billion, yep. and you'd have to do a sales sales analysis for the comps. And I didn't come. I did not do the comps this morning, so I don't know. But um, uh, you wouldn't. it wouldn't be not. It would not be $8 billion. It would not. It would, not, it would no. be less. Well, unless you really think that the NFT business is a fabulous business. Now, we, did, we can cover the person, the oh, FBI, yeah, and the rest. For law, for the, uh, Former employee of NFT Marketplace, charged in first ever digital asset insider trading scheme. This is Southern District of New York. Tend not to be jo- jokers. Uh, Damian Williams, U.S. Uh, State Attorney, totally heavyweight guy, United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, uh, Michael Dr- uh, Driscoll from the FBI, have announced, wow, wait a second, the uh, unseen indictment charging Nathaniel Chastain, former product manager at Ozone Networks, DBA, uh, open C for basically front running what was put on the on home NFTs, page. Which, but don't you think what's interesting, David, here? Insider trading. Yes. But there's no real security. No, but it's interesting that they're bringing a case. But maybe NFTs are securities. Maybe this is a way to securitize NFTs. This case, well, which no one noticed yesterday. Token, uh, tokenizing and securitizing are certainly similar. I find this.